Today in Mario's channel we have an Auras 15G and I'm gonna try and install this SSD here and here is the tools that I think I'm gonna be using we have a PCIe Lane Generation 3 SSD and here is my laptop an Auras 15G from Gigabyte here is the SSD a one terabyte extra now the good thing about uh, Auras laptops uh, you will see that in the box itself when you open it when it comes from the manufacturer, it comes with a bag, including a thermal pad. It tells you if you want to upgrade to another SSD, there is an additional slot for it. And here is the thermal pad. So very thoughtful. I like it. And here is my, uh, some details about the SSD that I'm using. I bought it from Amazon for about a hundred pounds, British pound. So here is the back of my laptop. And I tried obviously to put my massive screwdriver in and obviously it didn't work. I'm not sure why. Now these things, it turns out they are uh, a very unique shape. They didn't work on any of my tools I had, not even these star key ones. And I think the reason for that is because they need a specific type of screwdriver. So these ones obviously didn't work and it was very frustrating. So I had to buy actually from Amazon and wait for them to arrive. Is it saying now? Is this thing feeling me? Now I've been waiting a long time for this and it came. It came by post. It came by post, guys. So let's see if that is, that's a bit small, isn't it? But anyway, that's what we need. We want small item. And that's what we got, small item. Let me just unpackage this quickly. Fast forward. Look, you just pull it down. Boom. Oh, you go. Oh, it's even better. How does this thing work? I don't think that's the right way to do it, actually. Now, I know this was meant... What am I doing wrong here? Oh, This screw is taking longer than I care to put time in, and now it's stuck. It's the worst thing you can buy. So here, guys, I am uh, unscrewing all these screws, and they turn out uh, to be the Torx type. Here, I'm showing you how to magnetize your uh, screwdriver. Boom, we are in. I'm removing the cover now. So remember, you need a Torx key. It's called the Torx T-O-R-X screwdriver. The description is uh, description box. Have a look at it. It's a thing T3 or T4. So I've removed it. Here's another thermal pad that was stuck on there. I don't know if you've noticed it. And here is the, the slot that I'm going to be putting my SSD in. The SATA NVMe. NVMe so uh, I'm showing you where to place it and here is uh, the thermal pad that Aurus very kindly has provided for us so I'm just gonna stick it right there here's a bit of ASMR by the way that sound I don't know where it came from so this is a another normal screw screw this time so I used a normal Phillips key uh, and here I am all you need to do is just slot it in as simple as that be gentle obviously don't over push it just give it a nice click and there it is and then screw back that thing that screw and it should uh, stay in place I'm talking Arabic I was filming for my other channel. It's called Maher channel if anyone wants to see it. M A H E R. I put the link here. And again, here I am screwing the cover back on. It was as simple as that. Now is the moment of truth. I'm going to be showing you what's going to happen. So I turn it on, obviously, to see what's going on. And immediately a error message showed i think the reason for that is because i didn't turn it off before i installed the ssd which is very very stupid of me i think i left it on sleep mode or perhaps hibernate so here you go pc ran into a problem here is the moment of truth guys we're just gonna click and it's not here so the ssd was not there in order to fix that it's very simple you just open uh, this pc click on it right click manage click on manage a window will pop up choose disk management 
so far so simple follow these things here is the original one the c it's got the windows and here is my new one it's telling me that i've got 953 gigabyte of unlocated uh, disk so you can either convert it to a dynamic or uh, live or basic so i just chose the dynamic if you want to know the difference just google it it's very simple but i chose dynamic and that was as simple as that just call it whatever you want to call it i didn't call anything i just clicked on uh, new simple volume wizard uh, here is telling me the size of this ssd and then you just go next give it a letter i think d is uh, normal because c is windows and then you just call this d don't do anything else just leave it as is here you can put a name or you can do it later i did it later it won't make any difference and then just next 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 wait a few minutes a few seconds actually and boom pa -pa 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 here we are v new volume d it's working guys and now you can just rename it whatever you want to call it steve uh, jenny ahmed i put it i called it storage so i hope that video was useful to you guys we've got a ssd now it's been allocated i've got an additional one terabyte roughly and if you found this episode, episode uh, useful to you please consider sharing like and subscribe and i'll see you the next episode peace